I'm in St. Mark's right now, just leaving the Riverside Cafe where I had a delicious burger. And I'm heading this way. Um, behind this building is actually the Florida Trail sign because the trail runs right through town. Um, but I'm staying. Uh, Sugar Rush had to go. Um, I had a resupply package here that I had to like run to the post office to get, just barely get before they closed. But uh, Sugar Rush uh, went on, so we're going to be split up. I don't know if I will be able to catch her, but um, yeah, she'll probably be a half day ahead of me. And I'm staying in town at an old fish camp that also has motel accommodations. And this town is a sleepy little fish town, but it's one of the oldest settlements in Florida. The um, Spanish had a stockade here in 1679, so I'm going to be going to the old historic park, which is on the way, and then uh, heading to the fish camp. So the state park is the San Marcos de Apalache. Um, originally a Spanish stockade. It says 1680 here. Another source says 1679. I guess it doesn't really make a difference. Um, but looks like I can see some ruins here, and I know it was used by the Confederacy as well, so I'm sure I will be seeing more stars and bars, which I have been seeing quite frequently in this part of Florida. But we'll just have to see what this state park has to offer. These are Confederate earthworks. Um, Confederacy used this area to protect against Union attacks looks like they just kind of um, took over basically what the, the Spanish had done and um, decided to fortify this area for themselves. So that's 1860s right there. Based solely on the information I found at the park and not really what I know of history, uh, this was with the Fort Ward, which was the Confederate fort, their gun position, where they used to keep the cannons. and. Um, they, uh, they built it basically on the remains of the old Spanish bomb-proof. Basically following old, uh, old design plans of the Spanish. And then the magazine was, was that hill behind it. Those oaks, those are pretty. It's a really, really nicely situated fort. Really, really pretty location, even though that's what, not what it's made for, but it's nice to walk around the ruins. This beautiful park-like clearing here used to be where the old Spanish forts were. And I'm talking like old Spanish forts, like late 1600s through the mid-1700s. It's where the Wakula River meets the um, St. Mark's River. And now it's just, it's got some benches and it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous spot to be. To hang out next to the river. <laughs> Which the river is pretty high right now. But very, very nice setting. So it's pretty cool, the interpreted trail around here. You're just basically walking by these limestone foundations. And the foundations themselves should be from the Spanish. Um, and then some of the stuff that the Confederates did was built on top of it. But the, the very base is from the Spanish like this, according to my uh, booklet, is um, some rooms just inside the north wall of the old Spanish fort. So you can probably see the different uh, demarcations for rooms. They look kind of small, <laughs> but you know, this was the 1600s. Things weren't particularly spacious. So it's just, this is a really interesting park. So you can walk around it and you can definitely tell the land has been uh, manipulated. There used to be a moat here. Confederates filled it in, but the Spanish had a moat. Um, but if you think, if you, if you look carefully, you can, you can kind of see what used to be here, which is pretty cool because that's, uh, that's stuff from the 1600s, <laughs> which is a long time ago. And the trail just continues down there. Currently in the Shell Island Fish Camp. It's a big, sprawling uh, <laughs> complex. But they have 
decently priced hotel rooms, and it's kind of a historic fish camp too. Uh, the bed and breakfast in town took a long time to get away, uh, get back to me, so I just called these guys, and they had a room, and they had a hiker discount, so um, it finally got sunny today. It got sunny right when I first hit the park. This looks like a historic picture. Okay, it was from the 1940s. And, uh, and still exists today. Um, and so I'm not sure if I'm just going to stay here the rest of the day because I've got a lot of internet to do. This might be the motel right here. Or if I'm going to go back into town, see if there's anything good. Don't know. We'll see. If not, then this is probably it for today.